posljednjih deset godina vojska Jugoslavije, a nešto kasnije i vojska Srbije, intenzivno je srađivala sa nacionalnom gardom Ohaja. Verujem da građani Srbije najbolji pamte angažman američke vojske u civilnim aktivnostima kojih je bilo dosta i na jugu Srbije. Razgovaramo sa generalom Gregorijem Šnulom, zamenikom komandanta nacionalne garde Ohaja. Mr. Šnulo, first of all, welcome to south of Serbia. And uh, can you tell us uh, what are the main accomplishments uh, of your cooperation with the Serbian Armed Forces from your personal perspective? Well, first, thank you for uh, inviting me here. Um, I would tell you that over the course of my time with coming to Serbia, and the first time I've been here, or the first time I came to Serbia was 2007, um, the, the highlights of the cooperation have been the uh, friendship and relationships we've developed over that time. When we initially came and we first started to do this partnership, uh, it was kind of, you know, it's like getting to, new fr to know new friends. You don't really know each other. It's, it's difficult to cooperate when, when you don't um, have a friendship. So over the course of the 10 years, we've developed friendships and relationships to the point now where our cooperation and collaboration are uh, very effective. We can do exercises now that we could not have done five, 10 years ago. Just because of the level of trust we have, between uh, uh, Ohio National Guard and the Serbian Armed Forces, and uh, that just every accomplishment we build off of the last one. So we, we're doing some, uh, and have done some very uh, interesting things over the last 10 years. Uh, together with Serbian Armed Forces, uh, you have been helping uh, to citizens of uh, Chinski district in the Vranje, uh, and you helped the reconstruction of the schools. Uh, why is the connection between uh, military, the army, and citizens so important? It's, um, the citizens are the reason why we exist. Uh, the reason you have a military is because of the citizens of the country. And, and the citizens are also where we get our soldiers and our airmen. So um, it's very important for us to be able to work with the citizens and provide, uh, to help citizens get stuff done, whether that's um, response to a natural disaster, uh, floods, or something like that. Um, you know, we're, we're here to help the citizens of both the United States and the citizens of Serbia. So it's not just to, you, to be used in the times of war? Not at all, not at all. It, it would be kind of boring between the times of war if, if all we did was uh, focus on the war fight. Um, and I'm not saying that, uh, that we don't. We, we train for war all the time. Uh, but but to, to be able to help um, the citizens is like, particularly in the National Guard, that's why we joined the National Guard. That's why we're part of the National Guard. We, we are um, um, Homeland Response Force. And uh, the, with working with the Serbian Armed Forces, they also are concentrating on um, the citizens of, of Serbia to, to help them out. Uh, recently, let's stay on the, in the south of Serbia for mm -hmm. some time. Recently, it was announced that the Serbian uh, military base uh, close to Bujanovac will become an uh, educational center for peacekeeping missions. Uh, as, I as I understand, uh, you will be helping in that, to achieve that goal. Uh, how it will look like and when, when it will start? Um, I, I would say it's already started. Um, you know, we, we've had exercises like Platinum Wolf, which have had uh, peacekeepers from all around, all around the world that have, that have come to uh, the South Base. Um, it'll continue to evolve. Uh, the, the nice thing about the way it's built is uh, you, can, you can adapt to many missions to different uh, scenarios. So to say what it's going to end up looking like would be kind of uh, difficult right now in that uh, y you want it to be able to, have, to be something that you can train different events there, if that makes sense. It's just it's got to be adaptable to um, whatever mission may come up in the future as far as peacekeeping operations. Is there some time, some, uh, time plan, maybe, when it will start? Um, I, I don't, I, again, I would say that, that it already has started, you know, we, we already are working there, there already been exercises there, so as, as far as a uh, hard start date, I don't know that I could give you that. Uh, some officers uh, from Serbia have passed uh, education in your camps in the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, what they could learn over there, and is there anything that you could learn from them? We. This partnership between the Ohio National Guard and Serbia has been a great um, example of what we can learn from each other. Um, not only our formal schools, um, you know, we, we do, um, Serbian officers and NCOs do go to uh, some of our military schools in the United States, uh, but just 
the, the continued cooperation between our forces, whether it's exercises, um, exchanges, you know, um, Ohio National Guardsmen coming to Serbia or Serbian Armed Forces coming to Ohio, just to work together, we, we're learning every day. Um, uh, the, the, the Serbian um, soldier is very proud, very resourceful, very uh, um, competent. And uh, we often learn just by standing next to the Serbian soldier, just a lot of, a lot of different things. You know, our, our country is a very young country. Your country is, uh, has been around quite a bit longer, and it's a different history. It's a different outlook. And so whenever we can get together to work, it, it makes us both better. Um, only 15, 16, 17 years ago, the Serbian armed forces and U.S. armed forces were on the separate sides. Uh, now you work together. You work with the soldiers. Mm -hmm. uh, can some things from the past become a problem, or I guess you managed to solve that? I, I will tell you from my personal experience, yes. um, um, the, the Serbian soldiers and the United States you know, were professional soldiers. We, um, we, we treat each other with respect. We, um, we understand the business that we're in. We understand that sometimes we're asked to do things that, uh, that um, may not be popular around the world, but that's, that's what we uh, buy off on when we become, when we become soldiers or, or airmen in our case. So I would say, again, in my personal experience, I have not experienced any, any issues with uh, Serbian Armed Forces because, again, you know, it, we're expected to be professionals. Um, if, there, if there were an issue, it just it, it has not bubbled up as far as I know. Uh, the Serbian people, everywhere we go, um, very welcoming, very uh, just great hosts. Um, you know, I, I personally, and again, I've been coming here since 2007, I have not experienced any sort of bad relations based on the events of 16 years ago. Uh, citizens of Serbia, let's go back to citizens. Okay. Uh, citizens of Serbia have heard a lot of about uh, Ohio National Guard, but uh, I'm not completely sure that they uh, really understand who are you. I mean, uh, can you, in short, tell us uh, what are your mission and goals are, and uh, at the end, who commands the Ohio National Guard? Okay. Um, the Ohio National Guard is a, uh, um, every state in the United States has a National Guard. And National Guard consists of Army National Guard and an Air National Guard. So I wear the uniform, I'm in the Air National Guard, I wear the uniform of the United States Air Force. I train next to the United States Air Force. Uh, we deploy with the United States Air Force. We do everything they do. But we are tr um, predominantly a part-time force, a reserve for the United States Air Force, and same on the Army side. So in Ohio, we have um, 12,000 soldiers and 5,000 airmen. Um, and then out of that, roughly one third of those are full time to train the force to keep everybody uh, that, that are in our formations current and, and good at their jobs. But the vast majority of National Guardsmen have other jobs. There's lawyers, teachers, uh, policemen, uh, you name it. Uh, and then one weekend a month and many other times they put on the uni uniform of the United States and they um, do military things. Uh, but the, the nice thing about the National Guard is we actually work for the state of Ohio primarily. So if something happens in the state of Ohio, we're the, we're the first ones, well not the first ones, that's not the right way to put it. We try to be some of the first ones there if there's a disaster, um, and any, any way we can help out the citizens. And what I, what I mean by we're not the first ones there is we don't, we do not control the operation if there's a disaster relief. We work for the um, um, local law enforcement or local uh, disaster um, responders. We don't, it is not our, we don't go in and take over and, and take over an event. We work for the civilians that are working on that event. Um, I have to, uh, to ask you, I mean, I grew up in Yugoslavia and now in, in Serbia, and I think people from, from Balkans had um, a quite a different point of view when we talk about military activities. Uh, you've been serving in army for almost three decades or maybe more. If more. I'm not uh, do you think that the role of army have uh, been changing? I mean, the doctrine and, and the approach? I, I do. Over the course of my career, um, you know, at, as you know, in the United States, 9-11 uh, changed everything for us. Uh, we we um, are involved in uh, 
operations around the world a lot more than we used to be. Um, now in the Air Force, we've been pretty much this desert storm. We've, it's been a constant deployment, um, and the National Guard has been doing it with the Air Force. But overall, I would say one of the largest shifts that I have seen in my military career is more focus on the homeland for, uh, to help out with, uh, you know, like Katrina, Rita, some of the natural disasters that we have, uh, or it could be a um, man-made disaster or um, airspace control. You know, we, we, we are not that, and I don't want you to think that we weren't focused on the homeland before, but I think now helping citizens uh, seems to be, uh, that's probably one of the, um, most sweeping changes that I've seen is the focus on helping the citizens of the United States. And, you know, in working with the Serbian Armed Forces, they are always focused on the Serbian citizens. Uh, military camps in Serbia, as I can remember, until a few years ago, had, a, you know, the big fences around them, very high walls. Uh, but that is changing now increasingly. Uh, now fences are uh, made from, um, from the wire. So you can see through, you can see what is happening inside the base camp. I mean, citizens can see. Uh, but, uh, and as I uh, had a chance to see uh, in United States, it's quite uh, similar. Uh, what is the reason for that? I mean, is it a matter of uh, transparency in work of army or is it a matter of uh, security? Well, there's always a security aspect. Um, that's why we have a fence in the first place is, uh, you know, we. We, we need to have security. Um, as far as transparency, I think it, I personally think it's very important because, again, we work for the citizens of the country. Uh, we, we get our soldiers and airmen from the citizens, so it's important for them to know what we do. And while I'll tell you that, you know, transparency, there are, of course, programs that are classified that not everyone knows about. Um, the vast, vast majority of what we do needs to be transparent to the citizens of the country. That, that's why we're here, is for the citizens. So I think that that, um, that helps with the trust. Um, you know, when, if there is a natural disaster and an Ohio National Guardsman shows up and, and the citizens see a uniform and they trust us, then that helps their, them psychologically. They know somebody's there to help. The government cares. Somebody cares. So there, there's a huge psychological advantage of having someone with a uniform showing up whenever there's a natural disaster. And, and we have to, we cannot betray that trust. We have to keep that trust with the citizens. Mr. Šnulo, thank you for your time. Bila je ovo emisija 15 minuta. Razgovarali smo sa generalom Gregorijem Šnulom, zamenikom komandanta Nacionalne garde Ohaja. Moje ime je Predrag Blagojević.